I like to support good causes and I've been with George Lopez for maybe around 15 years, somewhere around that area. And I really like to help whatever Kidney Foundation, the children and adults, whatever who, who might be, I like to support it. Thank you so much. And I've seen your booth. You have some amazing candles in there. What's distinct about your brand? Okay, these candles, they're handmade, which I made them, from apricot wax, coconut wax, and shea butter. And you can use them as a lotion. They're moisturizing, they're healthy. It's no harm to anybody or animals if you have a dogs or cats in a house. And the paraffin candles, you should burn outside. They come from petroleum waste and bleach. So I smoke too much and uh, give you a headache. So burn them outside and the healthy candles inside. Not really left over, you can uh, dip them right away or you can use them cold. You can just uh, like a uh, swipe your hand or finger inside the candle and you can use them as a lotion, moisturizing, cuticles, your elbows, your feet, whatever you like, it's healthy, it's no harm. That's perfect, so two products in one. Yes. All right, and where can we find you on social media? You can find me at Milena Candle, uh, Instagram and Milena Candle and Facebook. All right, you are looking stylish today. I understand this is all your design? Yes, it is. That's beautiful. I love the mask too. Why was it important for you to come support the George Lopez Fan Foundation? Well, I got invited by uh, Doris, and uh, since Corona hit, I hadn't been out in two years to events like this, and uh, supporting the foundation was the perfect way to come back out and re reintroduce my brand to all the celebrities and all the, all the regular customers out there. That's great. I love the style of your brand. How did you get started, and what is distinct about it? You no, know, it started out from basketball. I'm a big-time basketball player. I started uh, when I was in the Air Force about eight years ago. I started this company, and, and I started just designing basketball shorts, and I made them real unique. And because and, you know everybody's wearing the Jordan shorts and the Nike shorts, I wanted something different. I, I want to stand out when I'm out. So I started uh, designing unique basketball shorts, and I started getting a lot of attention. And then eventually, I love fashion too, and I just put the two together. Then I started expanding and making ladies' outfits and these polo shirts and all types of things, and it's been blowing up ever since. That's great, and I see you got masks now too. For, yeah. And uh, do you still get out on the court and shoot hoops? I'm still playing. I'm still hanging on. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever give it up. All right, that's great. And so if somebody wants to buy, where will they? what's your website and social media? My website is uh, imperialsportswear.com. Spell it imperial with an M. I took the I off because my name is Mike. So it's imperialsportswear.com. And my Instagram is imperial underscore sportswear. And why was it important for you to come out and support the George Lopez Foundation? Well, I love, I love absolutely supporting George in the things that he does. He's out to help children. He's out to change the world in good ways, and he always does. So he brings in really good people like Doris and Linda. And so That's great. And we are excited about your booth and your products. What is distinct about your brand? So I'm an eco designer, and so I design differently. I just kind of intuitively designing for the last 17 years. Um, was there uh, in the Bay Area for about 25 years, and I would just like collect things like old spoons. And so I was making wind chimes out of silverware, and people would say, and I have a background in fashion, they would say they wanted to wear my wind chimes. So then I said, when about a year in. I think I will make a necklace because I don't really love wind chimes. So I made a necklace and got picked up in a swag bag for the Emmys. And that was the end that they started being worn at the time by, you know, like the Desperate Housewives and, and others. So, and then I started getting invited to these kind of parties. And as I talk to people and they wear it, I get the most incredible feedback and, and the coolest friends. And it's just continued to grow my business for all those years. Wow, so you started off hand making. Do you still oversee production of all your items? So yeah, I actually designed the first necklace and called somebody that I knew liked doing crafty things. I immediately hired. So I've never done any production because I understood that my strengths were not in doing the same thing ever, ever again. So I'll do one design and then I'll pass it over. If I love it, then it needs to go to somebody who has the discipline to actually copy the pattern. <laughs> I take things that people would never imagine using, but so anyway, so these are like buffalo nickels. I like using things, you know, eco, old, old, do um, you see that pretty little coin holder? You just don't see them very much, but there's such beauty. The, the people that did production for jewelry used to live in the United States, in Rhode Island, and, and then when it went overseas to China, you know, all these beautiful artisans there 
they pretty much lost their jobs, you know. It was a, it was a sad thing, but still some of these beautiful pieces remain and I, you know, go into old warehouses and dust off big boxes on the top of shelves and it's really fun. So then I, that's where I find things like that and then anyway, so I like stacking. Well, thank you so much. Where can we find you on social media or website? Over on Instagram and Twisted Silver and then twisted-silver.com on, you know, it's just my website and yeah. That's great. We're going to look it up. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry Thank that you. was so long. It was Why was it important for you to support the George Lopez Foundation? Uh, anytime you give back to a charity, it's positive. Even if you're not here to make money or anything like that, if you can help anybody at any time, especially this in today's world, it's, you want to jump to those opportunities. So even though we're a Obviously, we want to make money as a business. Giving back is just as important as, as making money. So, when, when we get invited to do uh, <clears throat> events like this, especially with uh, you know A-list celebrities stuff like that, we jump at the jump at the uh, the chance to do something like this. So, and it makes you feel good though. So, giving back makes you feel than receiving. So, it's a good feeling. So that's great. And I had a look at your booth. You've got T-shirts. You've got cool hats and awesome shoes. What's distinct about your brand? How did it get started? What's the lowdown? So our brand got started, we wanted to do some sort of customization. So the first round is just a lightweight, awesome athleisure um, production run. But the second round is going to have custom fit insoles to your foot. So whether you have a high arch, mid arch, low arch, you're going to get the custom fit to your foot. Included in the price of the shoe, you're going to get the, the texture of the, of the, of the footbed, whatever you want, uh, whatever style, the memory foam or whatever, you're going to get a pick whatever you want with a stylish shoe and it's going to be included in the price custom fit to the to the foot so we're go, uh, the world's going to that more customization and more uh, innovation and technology like that so that'll be the next round in 2022 of a hypo footwear or something yeah that's really cool i look forward to seeing what all comes of it and you're based in denver is that right denver colorado and laramie wyoming so but our main goal is to bring production to the u.s so that's what we're working on right now to do some sort of assembly at least in the u.s and, and bring it back over from from Asia, but I think we can do it sooner than later. So that's our main goal: is to bring production and, and you know pay the American workers uh, a, a living wage and, and, and do that. And I think we can start doing that you know earlier than than we thought. So that's that's the main goal. So yeah, that's great. So you're providing amazing shoes and you're providing jobs for America. That's awesome. Uh, where can we find you on social media? Find us. Everything's uh, at Hypo Footwear. So at hypofootwear.com or HYPO Footwear, we're on Instagram, uh, Facebook, Snapchat, we all have the same handles and stuff like that. Same thing on TikTok, so search us, find us, and if you type in the code HYPO, HYPO, you get a discount, so I'm just telling you guys that, so. But, yeah. Ooh, we, you heard it here, we get the scoop. Let's get some shoes. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. It's awesome to be out here, sure. so. Uh, I'm Jacob, uh, they call me Jacob the Fake Jeweler. I have bling, uh, cubic zirconia, that I coated with real diamonds, and hence the diamond veneer, veneer of diamond over CZ. And what you could say, it's like CZ on steroids. <laughs> uh, what it does, CZ is usually very white and looks very fake. So when we do the coating, it gives it a, a G color appearance. So for to meet 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 to high markets, people can wear it without worrying about being detected fa uh, wearing fakes. So that's what it does. Uh, I mean, it's it's travel jewelry. Uh, for uh, it's a next step from the CZ, basically, and uh, it also increases uh, four to five times the fire of the of the stone. And I can show you one. And why was it important for you to come support the George Lopez Foundation? First of all, I love the man. He's extremely funny. Really, it's really genuine fun. And uh, you do good uh, on the process. It's, that's, that's the bottom line. We're very excited to be here. It's, uh, it's, it's just uh, a great event. And it's our first time. Um, our you know, our store is actually located in uh, Beverly Hills, and uh, yeah, we were very happy to be here. You know, making people happy with our chocolate. It was uh, made with love, so that's all I can say. You know, and it's uh, it, it'll be a pleasure to have anyone to come to our stores. So that's that's great. Why was it important for you to come support the George Lopez Foundation? Well, you know, it's uh, 
you know, it's always important to help out our, you know, our communities. So that's 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 the main thing for us, you know. And we're we're starting as well as a new business. We've been in business for like for seven years, we can say. But you know, we want people to hear about our store, you know. And we have great products, and we we're always happy to to help, you know, our community. Well. Uh, they, well, it's actually his wife and, and him, him. Uh, so they started like from, they used to go, I can say like to farmer markets and uh, you know, that's how they started doing like strawberries and it's, it's, it's a long story, but she's very passionate about it. You know, like when she does the chocolate and if you see the, the little bonbons that we have, they are cute, they're, they're beautiful. So it takes a lot of a lot of time to make them, but uh, she en she enjoys doing that. So that yeah, that's 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 what I can say about it. And uh, another thing, is we're Hispanics, so yeah, a lot of people see us see us, you know, in Beverly Hills, and they actually get excited for for it because uh, uh, if you compare us from how we started, you know, like as I said, they started in uh, farmer farmer markets and now they're doing uh, Beverly Hills so it's a, it was a big job and thank God everything is doing well oh you can find us in Instagram chocolata with the K let me spell it for you guys it's C H O K O L A T T A underscore L A so yeah you guys are welcome to come anytime and we'll be expecting you anytime Perfect. We got to go get some chocolate in Beverly Hills. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Right, it's a pleasure to talk to you guys. Well, I mean, uh, Nastic and our parent company, Hypercell, we've been uh, supporting charities in the uh, Southern California area for a long time, since 1995, when the company started. So just, just fitting nicely with our whole corporate purpose and, uh, and mission. And, uh, you know, we make products every day, but we understand at the end of the day, it's people that use the product. So we care about the people that use that product. And this event with George Lopez supporting Kidney Foundation uh, and uh, health uh, and children uh, was really an opportunity we couldn't pass by. So that's what we're here. Armand, I stopped by your booth earlier and I was intrigued with the technology. What is distinct about what you bring to the table? Yeah, well, the Nasdaq brand really is a brand that uh, we consider to be aspirational. Uh, we use the best components you can buy in the industry with the best materials. And we have a design team here in LA that puts it all together. And then we manufacture it to the highest quality standards worldwide. We follow all the best standards uh, globally. And regardless of where you buy the product internationally, it's going to be really the best performance uh, and the best quality. So you have a, a number of different products. I saw there was a, a multi-use charger. What else do you have? Uh, and, and tell us about the charger a little bit too. Sure. I mean, well, the charger is one of our best products because it's a it is a multi-purpose char charger. It has wireless charging in it. So as you know, all the new iPhones, Samsung, they all have wireless charging. So it's very convenient. It has a remo removable power bank, so that makes it a lot of convenient for people to take the power bank with them on a the road. But yes, you're right. Nastic has about 200 plus products in its catalog. We cover everything from audio to true wireless to mounts. We have a great collection of car mounts, which have been really popular. You know, since the pandemic has been coming to an end, and people are starting to drive and travel a lot more and uh, we also have products for home office and cross the range ready for computers and so on so just go to nastech.com and check it out perfect do you have any other social media where we can find you besides the website yeah we're on insta it's just nastech uh just uh, nastech life hashtag nastech life on instagram on facebook like i said nastech.com so drop in we're on linkedin drop us a note visit us and we'd love to get in touch with you Peter, why was it important for you to come out to support the george lopez foundation this is my fourth time coming out to support George's foundation. I think it's a really great cause. I have family members that have had kidney transplants um, and a cousin who is a transplant surgeon specializing in kidneys and livers. So I, I feel a closeness to the cause. That's great. And your company does Caribbean travel. What is distinct about what you're offering here? Yeah, Caribbean Living Magazine, I founded it 14 years ago, and part of the foundation of the magazine is actually about giving back. So what we do at events like this is gift the celebrities who are participating and giving their time trips to some of our partner advertisers. And this particular issue, we've got Casa de Campo gifting two nights, three days in the Dominican Republic. 
That's great. Do you go on these trips and make sure everything's uh, up to par? Is that part of the perks of your job? I wish. I, I, I've been, but I've got a team that actually goes out, does a lot of the writing. But yeah, one of the benefits is that I do get to go to a lot of fabulous places. So you know how much fun these celebrities are going to have? Especially at Casa de Campo, yes. We are at Caribbean Living or on Instagram at CL Travel and Swanky Retreats. That's our other publication. Right, why was it important for you and the company to come support the George Lopez Foundation? So we love coming out into the community. I feel like there's still some stigma around cannabis in general. So just to be able to come out and touch one on one with the people of the community, educate them, let them know what we do, what we offer. Um, it's been a really important thing for us. I feel like as the syndicate, we're branded on being um, individuals that stand for a common interest. And in this, it's it's beyond just the medical. It's you know the entire industry as a whole. It's so healing for so many people, and, and we want to get out there and let people know that. That's great. That was my next question. What is distinct about your brand of cannabis? So as a, um, at the Syndicate, we are a fully integrated um, or vertically integrated company. We have our own distribution, cultivation, manufacturing, retail. Um, we have our largest distribution out in Lancaster right now where we're producing our own flour and our own Syndicate extracts and pre-rolls as well. Um, within the coming year, we'll be also launching our own edible line which we're really excited about too, and a lot of other cannabis products coming to the community. And since we're able to, to manufacture and produce all of us as well, we're able to give it back to the community for really affordable pricing as well. Uh, our social media is thesyndicate.official. Um, we have our website at socalthesyndicate.com as well. Um, we have five dispensaries all over Southern California and opening a lot more within the coming year as well. Right now we are open in Woodland Hills, Lancaster, Van Nuys, um, Huntington Park, and Tarzana. We are opening a couple more in the next coming weeks. The second one in Lake Elsinore, um, Moreno Valley, uh, Northridge, Burbank. So we're, we're very excited.